jumpin', jumpin' through, jumpin', jumpin', jumpin' through, jumpin', jumpin', jumpin' through. Hey, Composer Gloves here, and this is another MIDI music theory or music theory from the ground up. Now, today we're gonna be talking about suspensions, but we will be doing so in a sort of unusual fashion. What do you mean, unusual fashion? Well, if you people are here for uh, suspension and you know about part writing, this may not be the video for you. However, I recommend if this is your first time ever hearing about suspensions, I think everyone should sort of learn it this way first. When I get into part writing, which I may be a very long time from now, but when I eventually do, I will re be I will be reapproaching tons of these concepts simply because I'm going to teach them without any part writing uh, whatsoever. So we're gonna I'm going to show you it within the context of how it would be useful to you in general composition. But uh, there are all sorts of things that make uh, the suspension more complicated with part writing that I'm not going to be looking at. So just a little disclaimer at the beginning. Uh, I will be ignoring a lot of part writing stuff. So I have a suspension here, and so I'm going to go ahead and play it for you. What is a suspension? Well, uh, just to recap real quick, on, as in all the other previous videos, I have a C major to a D major to a G major chord progression. And I'm playing these notes. These notes are like not shockers. They're just chord tones. And then I have this thing right here. This is called a preparation note. What do you mean preparation? Well, it's prepping my suspension. It is necessary. You must have a preparation note. So the preparation note is a chord tone that lands in the chord of D major. And so that's good. It's, it's always a consonant note, your preparation. And then what happens is you play that note. So you see we go to G major, but instead of playing like a... a note there we replay our we play our preparation note again so you play your prep note to prepare it so that people are like oh this is what that note sounds like la 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 it gets your brain a certain way and then you hear the note be re restruck or sometimes this is also a totally valid move which is one that I think I favor more often than not. And that is when you do it like this. Now, this is more common with what I'm gonna show you. Now, in part writing, you start getting into intervals and the way things land on beats and all sorts of mumbo jumbo. And the way things land on beats is kind of relevant for what we're doing here. For example, the preparation note is pretty much always gonna land on some sort of an accented or strong beat. And the suspension itself, which is this guy, this is called the suspension. That is also gonna land on a strong beat. And then this guy is gonna resolve. You have options about where you wanna resolve him. But there's names for intervals and things that we're just not going to talk about in this. It's like, I, I, it's just a little beyond what I think some of you are capable of grasping based on the series before this. Like, some of you would really get it, some of you wouldn't. Uh, it's really, it would make a lot more sense in part writing context. So, anyways, that's a suspension. Notes about the suspension. Well, you restrike it, you get familiar with it, and then it will always resolve down a major second or a minor second, not like, okay, it'll always resolve down a second, major or minor. So here's a second and it resolves down, so it qualifies, and that's pretty much it. It goes down to here now. Again, there's a relationship between these notes and the bass that form uh, some interesting cases, but those are again part writing sort of equivalent. So that is a suspension in a nutshell. <laughs> It allows you to create dissonance and resolve really nicely, as opposed to something that's kind of boring like this. Like, not as interesting, boring, and so we could, we could even do something like that. So there has to be a prep note. The suspension could be tied to uh, your previous note, meaning a part of that note, or it can be a separate note. Uh, if you want to do that rhythmically and then of course it resolves down a major second now There are other kinds of suspensions we could do we could go from like an F sharp Okay, so now this isn't a suspension anymore now this one is called retardation Now this one is when it is the opposite of the suspension as opposed to resolving down you resolve up It's literally that simple exact same principle just you resolve up instead so here F sharp is in the key of, well not in the key, it's in the chord of D major. So this works and then it resolves up to a G. You'll notice that these things also happen pretty much on cadences. Like most of the time they're gonna happen on cadences. In part writing you could throw them all over the map, but here they're gonna happen mostly when cadences are coming to a close and you're gonna start a new cadence. So. 
So that is a retardation. They have different names. So that's a major or minor second root resolution upwards to a G. Or when you're going down, it would be a major or minor resolution downwards. That would be considered a suspension. So that is what that is. You can put them in various places. Um, let's say that, let's see here. We've got, do, 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 do. Oh, we've got this B and A relationship, so we could take advantage of that. That is a major second. So we could take this, we can make it an A, we resolve up to a B, and this would be a retardation. Oh, uh, yeah. So you see, we have options there. We don't really have an option for another suspension unless I wanted to do, change up my chords and stuff. And of course, it can get way more complicated when you start adding in ninths and sevenths and you can do all sorts of cool stuff, which is it just the options start becoming a little crazy. But this is just a basic example. So that is suspensions and retardations. If you have any questions about this, let me know. I realized that I skipped, for you people who do know a little bit more, I realized I skipped some stuff, but... The goal is so that you can take it and then I can go and apply it. You can use it. You can make this. You could easily draw out some easy suspensions. And you may consider, this isn't strictly a suspension anymore, but you may consider just resolving around. Those are different melodic moves, though. They have names for them. So well, uh, I'm probably going to approach a couple of them, but there's, there's quite a few. And once you have like six or seven of these in the bag, you could make some pretty dynamic melodies. One other thing about suspensions I need to tell you. So what is that other thing? Well, there's something called chained suspensions. What is that, Mr. Gloves? Well, it's when you take a note and it is the, it is the uh, prep note and then you use it to suspend and then you get to this note, right? This is the resolution. From our previous chord progression, uh, we went up to this point. So we went... Preparation, suspension, resolution. Now, if you take this, we can make this. If we change it so that our resolution could also be serve a second purpose. It could also be a preparation. So we're going to use this as a prep note. And then here's our another suspension and then another resolution. And so now we have what is referred to as a chain of suspensions. And you could just as easily do this upwards with a chain of uh, retardations, but it's a little bit different. Those are usually used in phrases, not as common as the chain of suspensions. And you see, we can end it. And so we just did that. So we resolution and preparation, suspension, resolution. And then again, I did it. Uh, so this is a resolution and a suspension because I go to D major here, so F sharp, and then I then I resolve upward. And so that's another thing you can do with suspensions. That because I really want to get to part writing before I really start getting into a lot of this stuff. Uh, if you have any questions again, let me know. Subscribe and have a blessed day.